On today's episode, watch me do my hair. I'm finna show y'all this mohawk look that I call it myself. It's a ponytail in the back, but these are the supplies that I use. And this is the hair. It's like deep wave. This ponytail is something I was used in one of my other ponytails when I had the pink curls and stuff. But yeah, here I am with my, my wave cap, blowing dry in it, and put my little pr um, protective stuff on top of it. So it can help, you know, protect from getting so much glue on my hair. Back blow drying. I'm finna, now that it's dry, I'm finna cut it around the circle. I'm cutting it everywhere around, cutting the ear part out. And in the back, I'm going to show you all how I'm going to do the part in the back. I'm not, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to cut it. But I'm going to take that little part that I got left over, wrap it around just like that. And there you go. You see it. I just wrapped it around there. And like I said, the style is going to be a ponytail in the back. And it's going to be like a mohawk in the top. But yeah, that's, like I said, the hair that I'm using is the hair that I already used before. I used this hair before when I did my pinkers. But I'm wrapping it around and I'm, and it's just going to hang down like, like I did in that video. And once I get... Uh, finish with it i'm going to move on to gluing the front the top part now this is how i do mine but everybody probably do theirs different but this is how i do mine i just added another piece um at the back in the back and just finna take it and wrap it around pull a little bit of gel on there and i just gonna, i'm just gonna wrap it around so it can be thick around the top part of the um, ponytail in the back. But yep. Just wrapping it around. And that's pretty much it. That's my ponytail. That I'm going to have hanging. Here is the. Now I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to do the top of my hair. I'm starting like gluing the tracks in the back part. Then I'm going to work my way in the front. Then I'm going to work my way like going in the circle. And you will see that in just a minute. But right now, I'm just gluing it to, towards the back. And I will do that until I get to the front. And here I am in the front now. And I put the tracks very close. Once I put the tracks very close, they give me plenty of room to actually... I want it to make it full. So, at this point, still putting the track real close. The part right here, the little part that I just showed you all, that's where I'm going to do the um, circle at. And once I get ready to do the circle, I'm just going to continue on going in a circle all the way around, all the way around until I cover up that part there a little bit at the top. So you won't be able to see no tracks at all. And at this moment, I'm finished and now I'm going to tease it out. And once I tease it out, I'm going to tease it to my liking. And once I get finished with that, I'm going to start cutting it to how I like it. And I tease it and tease it and I put a little spray on it. Then I will go through the entire process of pretty much cutting it. Now I'm cutting it to how I like it until I completely get finished with, you know, how I want it to actually look. And here I am just continue on cutting it and I'm almost finished at this point. And I, like I say, I want to give it that little mohawk look that I like. I'm putting a little edge control on the side. And there you go. I hope you like it.